Hey everyone, let me uh, first allay your fears and let you know that assuredly Chester is not a, a molester, okay? <laughs> With that out of the way, I have for you probably the first and only video I've ever made of an electro artwork robot by Andy Hill. Now, and I guess I will link this in the description, um, the collection video I posted several years back did show the copper copper uh, copper top copper bot copperhead it was a copperhead um which was the largest uh, electro artwork robot ever made so i will link that video and then that's a long one that's a 30 minute that shows eh, maybe like 40 percent of my collection um but it shows you some cool pieces and uh, in that video there are some of the electro artworks and i collected the electro artwork robots probably from the from the uh, late 90s, I would imagine, early 2000s. And then it just, you know, I was running out of room and I had gotten a lot, a lot of the electro artworks, but they're very cool. And Andy, of course, continues to refine his craft. He's one of the uh, true cool robot builders with, you know, found, what would you call this? Found material, found art, found whatever, and uh, found media, I guess. And so this one, was recently posted on Facebook, and I really like it. I'm a, a sucker for gauges in the chest, and it just had the look that I like. And it's uh, probably not going to be the last time I buy another Electro Artwork robot. But uh, again, I'm very mindful of space, and I do have a lot of them. So, you know, when I eventually have a co my museum display, you have to fit all this stuff in. So that's the challenge. But anyway, this is Chester. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't light up. It's a static piece. But Andy makes these beautiful boxes with the giant rivets, as you see here. And this is all his artwork. So he colors them. It's a shoe box that he repurposes. Very nice touch here. You can't really see it, but it kind of distresses it. Gives it a, a nice vintage feel. And here, as a matter of fact, uh, he has his logo. And then this one is 2021. I actually just got this. And then right here is his sculpture by Andy Hill. So it's a very cool piece. And, uh, oh, I forgot to even ask you guys to subscribe, but that's a given. Anyway, and I'll remind you at the end. But anyway, here is Chester, the non-molester. Should I say that? Chester, the non-molester. What are we allowed to say anymore in this crazy world that we live in? You say one wrong thing, and next thing you know, you're uh, canceled for life. Anyway, this guy has articulating arms, which are very cool. And look at these claws, man. Maybe he can do a little molesting with these with these spring-loaded claws. The light's not good there, but you can see here. He may molest some other robots, perhaps. And the same thing, you got some articulation here. These ears actually even spin, believe it or not. Probably not supposed to, but they do. And in the back, look at he's you know, he detailed up. Kind of reminds me of a steam-powered robot. And Andy's very good. The other thing about um, a good robot builder is these robots have very good balance on them. They don't feel like they're going to fall over. They're very stable. And that is a key component when you're looking at, you know, guys that actually build robots like this, art sculptures, if you will. I mean, because I've had some that are, they're really wonky, you know. <laughs> I mean, you just like put them out and they're like, what? That thing falls over. Anyway, that's uh, him signing his work. And look, you got these beautiful rivet details. Kind of, kind of reminds me of those custom guys in Japan, right? So Andy continues to evolve his craft. And um, I said it was high time. Well, the other, I, I, to be fair, my all my Andy bots have been packed away for a while now, years in fact. Like with everything, when I show, when I link that video of the collection that shows other electro artwork, keep in mind that right after that video was made, which was several years ago now, those things were packed away uh, and they haven't seen the light of day uh, since. Hopefully, you know, I don't have some trauma with like silverfish eating them or <laughs> some of the boxes or some some horrific, horrendous uh, event like that. But uh, I, I, I'm confident they will be safe. But anyway, um, it was uh, it was a pleasure to bring you this cool uh, robot by Andy, because you know something, if you like this kind of stuff, the other thing about Andy, his prices are extremely reasonable. So if you want like a custom art type robot, I say look up 
electro artworks on the internet and uh, and see what he has to offer. His stuff sells pretty quick, but you know sometimes uh, you know he can be prolific in his production and you might be able to snag something. And I'll tell you what, it is a fraction of what you would pay for some of those custom things coming out of Japan. So keep that in mind. Anyway, hope you liked Chester, the non-molester robot. <laughs> and if you did, don't forget to thumb up the video, subscribe, leave a remark. Um, because I tend to reply. And don't forget to share them too. Share them on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you look for other cool toys. And with that, thanks as always for your time. I will talk to you later.